Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for the sales order report and in the previous video, we finished with first window, we finished with second window and now we will come on to third window. In the third window, we want to display the data of six columns. Yes, we know six column data. But do we know how many number of rows will be there? Suppose simple example. We gave that date 23rd August to 30th August. We got that data of four rows. Currently four rows are there. Suppose if I will increase that date. Suppose I'm saying we will go for that date. Suppose I'm just changing that date. I'm taking from 23rd Feb to 30th August. I'm executing. Suppose I will not filter on username. Now you can see we are getting so many records. So we need to display all these records in the smartphone. So is our number of rows are fixed? Number of rows are never, never fixed. Suppose simple example. I'm going to market I can buy 10 items, yes, and I can buy 20 items also. Number of items are never, never fixed. Same thing is here. Whenever we want to display that data in the third window, third window, number of rows are not fixed, not fixed. That's why we are taking this in the main window because main window can shift that data to the next page. It is for continuous output, continuous output. Now in the main window, we will not go for template because template is for fixed length data. We will go for table, table. Yes, because we want to display that data. Yes, we have columns. We have rows, but our data is not fixed, not fixed. So we will go for what? Table, table. So inside this particular main window, we will create a table. We will not go for template. Template is for fixed length data. Table is for dynamic data. So we will go for creation of table inside the main window. So I will simply go for main window. I will create a table. Now, whenever I created the table, a table has three parts. What are those three parts? Header, main area, footer. These are always, always three parts whenever we have a table. What is header? What you will display in the header? Word itself is suggesting. Inside the header, we will display the various column labels. Sales document number, item number, material number, material description, quantity, UOM, unit of measurement. So your column labels we will display in the header. In the main area, we will display the values. Values. In the main area, we will display the values. Suppose in our current example, these are the values, values which we will display here. We will display here. And footer, footer is whenever you want to display some information. Suppose I want to display the total of the quantity, then I will display using footer. As of now, footer is not applicable based upon our requirement. So if you want to display some information at the last, the best example is amount total, quantity total. At that time, we will make use of footer. So now I will go for firstly, head. head. Now, I will go for firstly, double click on the table. I will go to details of the table. 
Now, same thing which we covered during template also. Table is inside the window, inside the window. It means table dimension can never, never exceed the window dimension. Just see, if I will go to main window, inside this window, the width is 18 centimeter, width is 18. It means table width cannot exceed 18. It should be 18 or less than 18. So I will go to details and we will divide that 18 centimeter width, 18 centimeter width. Just see this 18 centimeter width, we need to divide into how many column? Six column, six column. Now, do not take 3333 three, three, three for all the column. Just see. If I will talk about unit of measurement. Unit of measurement has only length of 3. So I will take a small bit. Suppose if I will come to material description. If I will come to material number. They are bigger length column. So just go for bigger width of those columns which has big data. Suppose if I will show you here, if you see material number is this much big material description. Yes, might or might not be big for a material. So just based upon the length of the column, take the width so that it can accommodate the data. Suppose I will just open the structure so that you can understand fully. We need to take which much, we need to take how much width for a particular column. Suppose I will go here and show you. VBELN is character 10. We want to go for 10 length data. So sales document number. So suppose for 10 length data, suppose I will take the width of first column as suppose 3 centimeter. Now we will come on to item number. If you see item number, item number is numeric 6. Suppose I will take 2 centimeter. You can take 3, 3 for all also. But in that case, yes, we might not be able to display the full data. Then anyways, we need to increase the width at that point of time. Now material number. If you see material number, it is character 40. In your system, it might be character 18 because you, if you have old system as I have old new system. So in my system, material is of 40. In your system, it uh, material number might be of 80. Suppose for 40, I will take 5. Now I will come on to next column. Next is our material description. What is the length of material description? It is also 40. So suppose I will take 5. Now I will come on to fifth column. Fifth column is quantity. Quantity is 15 plus 3, 18. Suppose I will take suppose 4. 5 plus 10, 14, 16, 19. Now it's increased. I'll just change it. Suppose I will make it 4, 4. Because we gave the width as 18. 3 plus 2, 5, 4, 9, 9 or 4, 13, 17. Now for the last column, 1. Now just see, many people ask here at that point, at this point of time, we are only able to give 6, we are only able to give 5 column how I can go for six column? Just see, we have an option here, column right. Click here. Now you will be able to see the sixth column. 
Suppose for the sixth column, we will give one centimeter. If I will check four plus four, 18, 12. Oh, I will we'll start here. We'll click here. Three plus four, seven, 11, 15, 16, 17, 18. I can check the syntax here itself. Correct. So we divided the 18 centimeter width into six columns. Now, now I will come on to header. This is the important part here. And it is explained in the uh, smart form playlist also. You can right click on the header. Create. Now people will say, uh, people will check here and tell that we are not able to see the text. How we can create the text here? Whenever you are going for table, we will not directly create a text. Firstly, we will create a table line. We will choose the table line. Now, have you seen when I choose the table line or line type, six cells came automatically. Now the question comes, how six cells came automatically? Go for your table. Go for your particular table. If I go for table, if I will go for details of the table, what is the name of line type? Percentile L type 1. We divided this line. We divided this line into how many columns? Six columns. And when I created this line, when I created a line type, when I created a line table line, at that time, I choose what? This line type. So simply, simply six cells came automatically. Here itself, yes. Here itself, we have an option, yes. We divided that particular line type into six number of column. And when we choose that line type, all six, that particular line divided into six number of cells. Same thing we need to do for main area also. I will right click, create table line. I will choose same line type here also. Now we will go for various things now. Inside the header, we will give the various labels of the column. So I will go for each and every cell one by one. I will go to first cell. Right click, create text. Now I will simply, simply give that description. Description is always important. It will help you to navigate. Sales document number. Now I will go to general attributes. I will go to text editor. I will go for go to change editor. And here I will write sales document number. Now I will right click on second cell, create text. Now I will go to text editor. I will go for go to change editor. And now I will write item number. I will right click on third cell now. I'll change the description also. I will right click on third cell. Now here I will give material 
No. I will go to text editor. Go to change editor. Material now. I will right click on fourth text. In the fourth text, we will print material description. I will go to text editor. And I will write here now material description. I will go for fifth cell now. I will create text. In the fifth cell, we will print quantity. I will go to text editor. I will go to change editor. I will go to quantity. I will go to sixth cell. I will create a text. And for the sixth cell, we will go for UON. I will go to general attributes, text editor. We'll go for change editor. And I will go to back. Never, never forget to save. Yes, because it is very difficult to design the layout. So what is the summary of this video? If in this video, we created the table inside the main window because our data is not fixed. Our data is not fixed length data. It is dynamic in nature. Number of rows can be anything. So we created the table inside the main window. When we created the table, table has three parts, header, main area, footer. Header is mainly for the column labels. Main area is for the data or values. And in the footer, generally we display the total or some information which we want to display. So we simply, simply in the table, we divided the 18 centimeter width into six number of columns. Now we right click on the header and we created the table line. We created the, there's no option to create a text directly. You need to create a table line. Whenever we choose the table line, six cells came automatically. And in the header part, we created a text inside all the each and every cell and we provided the various label. In the next video, we will come on to main area part. So that's it in this video. Thank you.